Hello Petersham Kids, welcome to Kids Connect. We are so excited that you are able to join us today for Kids Connect. Petersham Kids is an amazing kids program filled with lots of fun and amazing God moments. I can't wait for you to see what we have planned for you today, so let's jump into it. Hi Petersham Kids, let's stand to our feet as we praise and worship our God. Shine brighter than any star in the sky. Your light shining through the dark of the night. Jesus, forever I find all that I am in your love, love, love. You are with me in every step that I take. Your love. Kids, I'm Raphael. I'm super excited today because we are going to be looking at Healthy Head, Healthy Heart Part 3. Let's jump straight into it. Hi Petersham Kids, my name is Newman and I'm one of the kids leaders here. And today we're going to learn how to make a stress ball. The things that you will need to make a stress ball are a piece of paper, an empty water bottle, a balloon, some flour, and a texture. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to pour the flour into this bottle. And the way that we do that is by making a funnel. And you can use your piece of paper and you can fold it up and you can make a funnel. But here's one I, I prepared earlier to make it a bit easier. And once you got that, your funnel on the bottle, and you get your flour, and then you pour it in, just like this. And you want to fill up the bottle maybe halfway. Now once that's full, what you want to do is you want to shake the bottle, so it's halfway, then you want to grab your balloon, you want to give it a stretch, 
Then we're gonna blow it up just a little bit, like so. Now you wanna hold the end of the balloon and keep the air in. Now we're gonna stretch the end over the, the top of the bottle, just like this. And you wanna be careful here, you don't wanna let any air out. Now once it's on, we're gonna carefully hold the balloon on, and it should look like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to flip it upside down and squeeze the bottle to get the flower inside the balloon, just like this. Once that's done, you can take the balloon off the bottle. And then now, you wanna slowly let some air out, but being careful, because if you let it too fast, all the flour's gonna come out. And once you've let the air out, it should look like this. And what you wanna do, is you wanna tie it off, And voila, you have a stress ball. Now, for those who are extra creative, you can get your marker and you can even draw a face on it if you wanted to. Just like this. And here we go, Peter from Kids. That is how you make a stress ball. Hope you have fun. A stress ball is a tool that we can use when we're upset or angry and we can squeeze them. And what it does is it relieves us from stress. As fun as this is though, it's only a temporary solution. In the same way that we can relieve stress with a stress ball, we can relieve our stress in God. This leads me to our memory verse today, and it says, give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. 1 Peter 5, 7. God can relieve your stress. You don't have to, we don't always have to use other things but God can do that for us. We can, we can press into Him, we can pray to Him, we can ask Him, and He actually wants to give us peace and, and actually allow us to feel that. So I want to encourage you today, we can relieve our stress in God. Wow, how cool was that? Now we, now we are going to be learning about a cool Bible story. Let's jump straight into it. The Parable of the Lost Son. Jesus was having a meal with some of his friends and telling them about God's love. Some Pharisees who taught God's law were watching and were cross with Jesus. They knew the people Jesus was eating with had done bad things and thought he should not be friends with them. Jesus knew what the Pharisees were thinking and he told a story to explain how God loves everyone. Once, said Jesus, there was a man who had two sons. They all lived in a lovely home and were very happy. One day, the younger son came to his father and wanted his inheritance. This was money he should get when his father had died. But the younger son wanted to have fun now and didn't want to wait. So because the father loved his son, he gave him the money. A few days later, the younger son packed all his belongings and left his home. He was going to travel to another country because he wanted to have lots of fun and adventures with all the money. His father was very sad. He would miss his son, but knew he had to let him go. When the younger son arrived in the new country, immediately he began to spend all his money. He had lots of parties and soon had lots of friends. Everybody enjoyed eating and drinking and they enjoyed the music and dancing. The younger son had lots of fun spending all the money. But then one day, the younger son realised that the money was now gone. Not even a coin left. All the people who had been friends with him now left him. They weren't his real friends. They loved his money and not him. Now the younger son had no money to buy food or clothes or even a place to stay. Eventually, he found work looking after some pigs, but he hated it because it was dirty and smelly. He didn't have enough to eat and he was so hungry. He wanted to eat the pig's food. One day, he remembered his father and how happy he had been at home. Even the servants who worked with his father were happier. So he thought, 
I will go home and tell my father I will work for him as a servant because I am too bad to be his son. The next morning, the younger son made his way home. But while he was still some distance from his house, his father, who had been looking for his return, saw him. His father set off running and didn't stop until he reached his sons. Then he threw his arms around him and kissed his neck and kissed him again and they both cried with joy. The younger son began to say sorry, but the father didn't even let him finish. Instead, he took him home, put on a beautiful robe and put on shoes on his feet. Then he threw a huge party with music and dancing and food. The older brother heard the music and came to see what was happening. He saw his younger brother and was very angry. He has been so bad to you. Why are you giving him this party? Asked the older brother. His father answered, my son, everything I have is yours. Let us be glad and celebrate together. Your brother was dead and now is alive. He was lost, but now he is found. Wow, how cool was that Bible story? I loved listening about the parable of the lost son and I know that you enjoyed listening to it too. Boys and girls, there are two main points that I want you to take away from today's episode. The first point is that Jesus is our peace. Do you remember the activity that Newman did when he taught you how to make a stress ball? You see, sometimes people will, will relieve their stress using the ball. But what Newman said was so important. He said that we, instead of the stress ball, we can relieve our stress and our worries and our cares unto God. We can press into Jesus, pray to Him, read the Bible, and He can give us peace through all times. Point two, Jesus wants us to forgive. You see, in the parable, the father, he forgave his son. His son did lots of bad things. He ran away, took the money, spent it on all these things. And when he came back, the father wasn't angry. He wasn't upset. He was just so happy that his son was back. He forgave him for all the things that he'd done. And all he wanted was his son to be back in his arms. But you see, his brother found it a bit hard to forgive. He was annoyed with his brother for doing all those things and found it difficult to forgive his brother. And because he found it difficult to forgive, he started feeling very angry and bitter towards his brother. You see, boys and girls, we don't want to have those emotions. We want to make sure that, you know, when things happen, if we're feeling upset about something, let's say if your brother or sister has taken your toy without your permission, we need to remember it is important to forgive so that we can always remain in God's peace. Thank you, Petersham Kids, for joining us today for Kids Connect. Now, parents, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel, Kids Connect. And if you want to see what the rest of the church is up to, please subscribe to Petersham Online. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Have a great day.